Well, first, uh, Andrea Lomena, I want to thank very much the Common Action Forum to organize this um, conference with people from so many countries and that have been uh, having a, a very relevant role either in the academic world or in politics or uh, many philosophers, economists and so on, including uh, in, in the two sections that happened today, uh, once in the morning, face the mirror, what remains of the battle between equality and freedom, and the one that I have participated now, beyond entrepreneurship, real alternatives to the labor society. And uh, it was very interesting for me, the experience that uh, when we had the panel Joaquin Nieto Sainz from uh, Spain and a member of the International Labour Organization. Steve Quinn, a professor of economics of Kingston University. Bob Black, an American philosopher known for his work in anarchism and myself. Plus, the two commentators, Professor Arlene Klemesha from Brazil of history, especially of the Arab world and Arab people, and Ayo Obe, commentator from, uh, well, she is president of the Civil Liberties Organization and from Nigeria. So, uh, and all of us, the six members of the panel and the, including the commentators all embraced and with enthusiasm the proposal of a citizen's unconditional basic income. What it is, is the right of everyone, no matter sex, age, uh, race, civil and socioeconomic condition to uh, be able to receive a, an income that will be sufficient to attend his or her basic needs, to so no one will be negated. Even for the rich, yes, of course, we that have more will contribute for ourselves and every other to have it. In Brazil, as a senator, I was able to uh, first in 1991, I presented the Guaranteed Minimum Income pro Program proposal uh, through a negative income tax and uh, with the development of the debate about this proposal, uh, we have had the Guaranteed Minimum Income Program related to education and, and health opportunities and from the development of the experiences that we have had, uh, it was, uh, well, several programs were unified in 2003 by President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, and the so-called Bolsa Familia program was instituted um, as a sort of a negative income tax to poor families, as long as they have their children going to school, <coughs> got and getting the necessary vaccines according to the, to, to the calendar of the Ministry of Health, and also mothers who are pregnant must do the, their prenatal exams in the health posts public posts and so on, and uh, this has contributed to diminish uh, absolute and extreme poverty in Brazil. And in, in December 2003, there were 3.5 million families, and uh, in July 
2015, it went to 14, 204 million families. Then it, it diminished in 2016, always above 3,900,000 3, families. And it has diminished uh, last August 17 was uh, three million and a half approximately families. So uh, I'm, I am, I, uh, I have written in the in one of the main newspapers in Brazil an article saying that the present government is uh, is behaving contrary to the main objective, fundamental objective of diminishing poverty and diminishing inequality, social inequality in Brazil. And this is one of the fundamental objectives of our constitution to, to do that.